Hi there! In this video we're going to talk about which note is which on the piano and how you can figure that out. So I know it can be confusing when you sit down at the piano for the first time or you're really new to the piano to know which one is which because there's 88 keys on this piano. There's a whole bunch of white ones and a whole bunch of black ones and it doesn't make sense. So let's go through some easy techniques that we can use to help us memorize which note is which on the piano. I'll also be adding some color-coded stickers to my piano, and you can too. If you would like a copy of the stickers that I'm using to color-code your piano, just send me a message or leave a comment down below and I'll happily send them on to you. So let's start by looking at the patterns on the piano. You will probably notice that the keys kind of look like they're following a pattern. So we have two black keys. or repeat across the piano and though the black keys are the ones that sit at the back of the piano and stick up. So we have black keys in groups of two. I like to think of those as bunny ears and we can hop our way across the piano. Then we have groups of three black notes on the piano and I like to think of those as triceratops because they have three horns. And those patterns of two and three black notes, or bunny ears and triceratops, repeat their way across the piano over and over and over. The only exception is the very, very bottom of the piano if you have all of the keys, and we can just ignore that for right now because we won't use those keys very often. So what I want you to do is count with me. We're going to count four sets of bunny ears from the bottom to the middle. One, And this will be the middle of your piano if you have a full-size piano. If not, if you have less keys than me, look for the bunny ears right in the middle of your piano. And those will be the most important keys that we use all the time, especially in the beginning. I'm going to add some colored stickers to help us keep track, because right now we're not going to worry about what letter names the black notes have. We're just going to focus on knowing the white ones. So, if we look at our bunny ear, and go just to the bottom, or to the left of the bunny ears, we're going to have what we call middle C. And that's a really important note on the piano. We really want to make sure we know what note that is. So even if you don't want my colored stickers to label them, put a mark on that key so you know which one that is every time. And it should sound like this. There's other C's on the piano. one that's marked, so it should sound exactly like this. And I am going to put a red sticker on middle C. If we go in the middle of the bunny ears on the white keys, we have the letter D. And I'm going to put an orange sticker on D. As we go to the top of our bunny ears, we have the letter E. If you're really quick, you might notice that we're actually going forward in our alphabet. A, B, C, D, E. So C, D, E. C, D, E. Then, if you know your alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F is next. So as we move into the bottom of the triceratops, we have the letter F. And I'm going to put a green sticker on F. If we move next door to the right, we have the letter G. And I'm going to put a blue sticker on G. So we have, so far, in our bunny ears, C, D, and E. And in our triceratops, we have F and G. And for a while, those may be all the notes that you need. But I'm going to show you the notes after that. For people that know their alphabet, they may think this one is H. But in music, we only use the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So actually, after G, our alphabet repeats. So this one, right next door to G, is actually A. And A is going to be purple. And it sounds like that. And then we move to 
the right again, and the next letter in our alphabet is B. And I'm going to make B pink. So you may notice we've got a rainbow going on. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink, which isn't exactly in the rainbow, but we're going to call it part of our rainbow today. And then, guess what? We're back to our bunny ears again, and this is our next C. So we can keep labeling, starting with our pattern all over again. So that's going to be a red sticker again. But listen, let's go back to our middle C. And then let's play our high C. Hmm. They sound kind of the same, but one of them's higher than the other. Can you figure out which one that is? If you said the one on the right, or the one closer to the right hand side of the piano, this one, you'd be right. It's higher. But it sounds kind of the same as their other C, which is why it has the same letter. And then, I'm not going to continue labeling my piano, but you could follow the pattern all over again. So, after our C, we put D. After our D, we put E. After E, we have F. After F, we have G, A, B, and we're back to our bunny ears with C again. So even if you can't remember bunny ears and triceratops, remember bunny ears and the left white note of the bunny ears is always C. Even if you remember that, you can count forward your alphabet. C, D, E, F, G. Repeat our alphabet again. A, B, C. And that's how we find our notes on piano. So, again, if you would like some stickers to label your piano exactly the same way as mine, just leave me a comment. I'm happy to get those to you. If you have any other questions about how to find notes on piano, or know which notes are which, just leave me a comment. I'm happy to either make a separate video or answer in the comments. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.